I tell people all the time, as breeders, you need to draw a line between the breed standard and what your clientele wants. As much as there's a breed standard, you can't ignore the fact that the people who are going to take up your dogs, whether it be pet owners, breeders, um, people who are looking for dogs for security, they, they, they have a picture of a Rottweiler in their head and they want that. You know, um, this is Bogdan here. I took two dogs for the show and I had told everybody one dog was going to win the show and then the other dog might not end up placing in the show. But I told them something interesting that everybody is going to prefer the dog that, does not might, that might not end up placing in the show. You know, a lot of people would be afraid to do this because um, they won't want bad PR on their dogs or anything. No. Um, when I got Bogdan, I got him, I knew he was a bit on the extreme, but I have some females who are very soft. And I needed to, you know, try to see how I could infuse more type on them. And the only way I understand that with my knowledge in medicine is to taking them to some males who are a bit strong, which tries to strike the balance. I don't believe in throwing the baby and the bath water away. I have females that have been breeding for over 20 years. I've had their pedigrees for over 20 years. And there are, there are dogs in them that we can never find again anywhere in the world. I wouldn't say because um, she's very soft in the head, her head is not the very typical Rottweiler that you want, then I'm going to trash her. What am I going to do? I'm going to do a line breeding with males who I know are known to have very strong features. And that was why we brought Bogdan into our breed program. And a lot of it. Um, we had to keep about eight of his daughters bred to eight different females um, last year during our breeding program. And he was able to help correct most of these things. He has a nice top score, has a nice depth to stop. Um, the judge said his snout was full, but was too short, you know. And then we have a couple of females who have the standard snouts. So when we do these breathings, we select puppies who have a good enough snout length into our breeding program. And we send the other puppies to people who want them a bit short because no matter the breedings we do with him, we have a few puppies that come out just like him. So for pet homes and those who just want nice, beautiful, fancy dogs that have good health, we send them there. Would we think in the next five to 10 years, we're still gonna have heads like this? I believe yes, we will have heads like this. These heads are not gonna go because the world says this is what they want. The breed standard would not change, the breed standard would always sieve out what they do not want and what they want. But the truth about it is, come rain, come sunshine, the people who know what the breed standard is and what should be will definitely keep that. If you look at him and if you looked at Dulce Gabano, they are two completely different dogs. But let me shock you, they have the same mother. Same mother, two different fathers. One of the father is very extreme, just like him. His father is very extreme. And then Dosis Gabana's father, I think is one of the most complete Rottweilers in the world. You know, and that's why we have these two different dogs. We actually have about nine different stud dogs and we have them for different purposes because not every male is compatible to the female you might want to breed. So will these heads stay? Yes, they will stay. Would everybody have them? No, not everybody would have them. Because for some of us, we would not produce this because we think it's a bit too extreme. That doesn't mean we might not use this to help females who are pretty soft. So this is Bogdan again. He's going four years old. Handsome, little, beautiful boy. Thank you.